What's up guys, this is Phil from Wishbone, and I'm here to present a quick guide to creating a standard pop-up as well as an introduction to three of the updated features, Optim Bar, Welcome Mat, and Slide in Pop-up. Let's first start from learning how to design a standard pop-up that can be added on your website or a landing page to increase conversion. From the main dashboard, click View More and choose Pop-up option from the top menu. For designing a pop-up, you're given more than 50 pop-up templates to choose from. Go through the previews and select the template that looks most suitable for your website or campaign. Give your pop-up a name and start designing your pop-up. The way you design a pop-up is essentially the same as how you would design your landing pages. You can click Edit Text button to make changes on your text, and also click the form to add new fields on the form. Select the button on the form to adjust what happens to the pop-up upon users submitting the form. By default, button on a form is set to perform two actions, submitting the form and linking to thank you page. Click the pencil icon if you want the pop-up to redirect your external URL other than the default thank you page. This default thank you page can be customized from this tab on the top left menu. When you have finished customizing the design, it's time to hit publish button to make your pop-up go live. This is the Publish Settings tab on your pop-up. There are six different ways to trigger a pop-up. Click, Scroll, Timed, Entrance, Exit, and JavaScript. Click Pop-up attaches pop-up to a button, text, or image so that it gets triggered upon getting clicked. Copy the click link and paste the code to the button or text that you want to see acting as a trigger for the pop-up. Scroll pop-up is triggered when a user scrolls a certain portion of the page and you can adjust this percentage by a page scroll menu. Time pop-up is triggered based on a timer. In this case, the pop-up will be triggered when a user stays on the page for more than 30 seconds. Entrance pop-up is triggered immediately upon users entering the page. Exit pop-up is especially useful for displaying special promotions so users stay on your site and keep on browsing. Finally, there's JavaScript pop-up that gets triggered on JavaScript code. Besides click pop-up, Google discourages use of pop-up on mobile devices for mobile user experience and penalizes the page in terms of SEO. Pop-ups are thus disabled on mobile devices by default. You can also adjust frequency of the pop-up display. But please note that when user converts on a pop-up, it will no longer display that particular pop-up to that user. This code at the end is Wishbone's tracking code and it needs to be installed on your homepage to display the pop-up. All Wishbone campaigns would have this tracking code installed by default. But for any other external sites, like your homepage, you need to copy and paste this HTML code in order for the pop-up to function properly. Now that you have successfully copy and pasted the tracking code on your website, the last step would be specifying the mesh rules. Specify the URL or Wishbone campaign to customize where you would like to display the pop-up. Click this eye icon if you want the pop-up to not display on a particular page or campaign. When you're done making all the changes, simply publish the pop-up. Great! You have now successfully created your first pop-up. Welcome to Chapter 2 of the tutorial. In this chapter, we'll take a quick look at the new features starting from Optin Bar. Unlike the traditional pop-up that prevents scroll of the page upon activation, Optum Bar would stay at the top or bottom of the page and really blend into the content, allowing users to interact with the page. Designing an Optum Bar is the same as how you would design a landing page or pop-up, but the major difference exists in the Advanced Settings section. Click the palette icon from the menu on the left. Select Advanced Settings section and from Placement, you can choose to display the bar on either bottom or top of the page. By default, Optim Bar is set to follow the scroll of the page. Turn off Stick to the Page to disable this. You can also set Entry and Exit Animation to Optim Bar. Choose from Fade, Slide, and Fold, and adjust the duration of the animation. Publishing method is exactly the same as standard pop-up. Let's see how it looks like on the actual page. As you can see, Stick to the page is enabled so the bar follows the scroll of the page. Moving on to our next feature, Welcome Mat 
is a full screen call to action, which is used to communicate really important message like special offers. Like the standard pop-up, users cannot interact with the page while welcome mat is open. But the major difference is that welcome mat covers the entire screen instead of certain portion of the page. You can adjust the transparency of the background and choose to display the background or not. Similar to the opt-in bar, advanced settings can be found under the palette icon and you can adjust the placement of the form on the mat and also alter the entry and exit animation. Our last new feature is called slide-in pop-up. Slide-in pop-up is similar to standard pop-up, but slightly different in the sense that you can add animation to the pop-up. What's more, it still allows you to interact with the page while the pop-up is open. Use the advanced settings feature to adjust where the pop-up is displayed on the page, and select the animation to add entry and exit animation. Congratulations! You have now completed tutorials for creating a standard pop-up as well as opt-in bar, welcome mat, and slide-in pop-ups.